before the earthquake, one in four Haitian children were chronically uh, under, undernourished. Only 12% of Haitians had formal access to electricity. 80% uh, were either unemployed or underemployed. So, you know, even before the earthquake and the tremendous uh, destruction that it did, uh, you know, Haiti faced significant development challenges. But at the same time, as the professor noted earlier, there were some real gains uh, being made uh, in Haiti uh, before the earthquake. Uh, there, had been a, there has been a measure of political uh, stability for a number of years. Uh, economic growth had been restored. The security situation had improved to a great deal, uh, to improve, improved a great deal in part because of the efforts of the Haitian National Police, uh, which had been strengthened over the years. Uh, foreign investors started to return. And what's remarkable, I guess we'll have a chance to talk about this uh, a bit more as the discussion goes on, a lot of that has actually not been lost uh, despite the, the devastation. The security situation uh, has, in spite of dire predictions, has, has, has maintained uh, pretty stable. Uh, but needless to say, there's been a you know, tremendous uh, setback in, in, terms of, in terms of the economy and, and other and, and other uh, standards, um, other, other human, human indicator standards. But at the same time, it, it's really remarkable if you look at the efforts on recovery and reconstruction, uh, that in some ways Haitians are actually better off today than they were before the earthquake. For example, more Haitians have access to clean water today than before the earthquake, uh, which is really a remarkable thing. And it helps to explain, I think, why we've been able to get the cholera crisis uh, stabilized fairly quickly. And when the cholera crisis first broke, you recall there was great fear about the impact it would have on the IDP camps. And these are people living, you know, thousands of people living in very tight quarters and in very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, but to a large extent, the camps have barely been hit um, by, the, by the cholera crisis because people have access to clean water, because they have health care. We've also done some polling to get a sense of what people's concerns are in Haiti and what, uh, what's going well and what's not going so, going so well. And again, in the healthcare sector, it'd be interesting to hear from, from our colleagues on this. Um, but um, the majority of Haitians are reporting that healthcare is actually better today uh, than it was before the earthquake, again, because of the international response. So, you know, granted, the, the, there was obviously a tremendous setback, the earthquake, but in, in some ways, already hating is starting to build back better. 